Hello, can you get any light on me? Oops, there you go, you see me? So, I'm on my way out to the movies. My husband's in the car, and I thought it would be super important. First, A, I decided to go, I've just, I decided to go live on social just about every day for the next month. Um, and I didn't do it today. I did do a bunch of posting on Instagram. Let me tell you why. I wanna to talk to you right now, it's like what to do when you hate how you look, you have a bad haircut, you gotta go live, you have to have a commitment, and you you know that for your brand, for your business, for your social media, you need to totally like be doing this stuff. So here's what it is. Right now, you know, we've gone through my haircut with me the other day, and um, it all kind of went well until those layers came in, and I've been working a long time blowing this stuff out, but right until those layers came in, it suddenly got short, like super short, kind of like Target lady short, right? I really feel like the Target lady. So here I am, and there's a taxi behind me. See that? So I'm getting in the car, I'm on live. Don't yell at me, we're going to the movies. So what happened was it got really Target lady short. I kind of was like freaked out. I'm like, what happened? I told you I was trying to grow my hair. How did it get so um, how do we put the light on here? How did he get so short? Oh, it's not that short. Um, yeah, I said below my shoulder where it was and I'm growing my bangs out and it's like chin length with bangs. Hmm. So there's not much I can do about it. So there's a few things to make me feel better for bad hair. And this is what you can do. You could try taking a lot of biotin, a lot of hair vitamins. Um, I'm going to warn you that if you start taking a lot of biotin, it grows hair in other places. So you might need to get a home laser treatment. So you can take biotin. You can take anything. You can start eating more healthfully than foods that accelerate hair growth. You could start using different hair products products that you start learning to work with your hair a little bit better maybe a volumizer you haven't used in a couple of years or a, a mousse or something like that and then the way you counteract it once you start getting that in gear that you know you start working on it there's a few things you can also do you can also get some clip-on hair extensions which ironically I had trimmed the other day a new pair so if you see me having really long hair in some of these well not really long but longer it's one of my extensions um, I sometimes use them a lot of people use them for when you're doing video or TV because it adds fullness if you're going outside it will fill it up a little bit so that will help you out but as far as a general style you you're feeling self-conscious you gotta go on you gotta do these things what do you do when, especially if it's like your hair so it's like as a stylist and working on photo shoots one of the things I learned is when you're selecting your hairstylist people who work on photo shoots a lot know how to zhuzh it up and know how to style sometimes the people who cut don't know how to style and sometimes the people who style are that great at cutting so you start to think about what they do because they get models all the time and sometimes people don't look great and if you can't add a wig or hair extension you got to kind of play up the look so this is what you do to make you feel self more self-confident and look better pull on extra stuff to take away from the hair right so i have a little more of a smoky eye than i normally would have i'm wearing like brighter colors than i normally will well sometimes i wear these but just in together so it's more something that's uplifting that's distracting it's kind of a funky jacket if i wore something that was really um super conservative right now I would definitely look pretty farty to say the least so you make it up so if your hair is kind of farty you make your clothes a little more cool a little more edgy than maybe you normally would you go um, smokier and edgier more downtownish a little bit in your makeup to counteract the kind of you know soccer mom from uh, suburban soccer mom from the 70s look and then you start playing with different products to make it maybe a little more PC or just a little you know add the edge add the edge and then eventually you'll start to feel better about yourself and learn how to put things better and you'll know that you can hide from your tribe from doing this kind of stuff because you got to get out there and before you know it it will grow in a little bit more the other thing is to also know your angles like right now you're looking at me three quarters in the car and um it's kind of this weird Let's see where am i but it's kind of cool now if i was like I don't know 
like that, you'd see it's kind of like frumpy. So by filling it out also with clothing, like I'm gonna be wearing a lot of turtlenecks for a couple of weeks, thank God it's winter, a lot of um, fill it out with turtlenecks, fill it out with scarves, fill it out with a big collar on a jacket or a coat, maybe a pair of earrings. So you're just adding more dimension away from the look and, and know your angles. Like I know this is a better angle for me. Like I look better this way. So if I was doing still photos, I would kind of fill it in more this way. The other thing to do is, is keep moving, you know? So if you're not happy about your hair and you're not feeling really confident, I always tell you to bring your tribe with you, right? Go on the street and keep on walking. Get that air in your hair. If you're indoors, put a little fan on you so it gets a little movement and it looks less, you know, kind of frumpy and schlumpy. Movement always works. Fans are secrets on photo shoots for bad hair. And, you know, just experiment with your with product a little bit more on different hair stuff and maybe a little more contour to set off the bone structure in your face a little bit more and just really play with it a bit so that um it's you know it's just sort of a different look rather than making you feel horrible i'm gonna confess i was crying yesterday i was like holy crap i have been growing my hair out for so long because i had bad highlights i've been keeping it with low lights so that it would get healthy and not have peroxide in it and then it gets chopped off shorter than when I had blonde hair that went bad. Well, not blonde, but blonde highlights. So I did have a meltdown yesterday. And you know, it's not just me too. I know it's you guys also. We do a lot of advertising. And um, I know that the videos and the pictures of me when my hair is shorter do not do as well as when my hair is fuller and better because this is not the first bad haircut I've ever had. And you know, so it's true. It's the way people perceive you. Yep, I gotta get out. I don't wanna get run over, hold on. So I don't wanna see, there's no cars coming. Let me try to get out, show you where I am. He's gonna park the car. going to the movies Whoop. so you know sometimes when people say oh it doesn't look so bad oh well you know if you think it looks like hell it looks like hell to you and that's gonna chip away at your confidence no matter what so you need to let me get away from that line so you need to really just do stuff for yourself that makes you feel better about it you know sure like extensions are kind of cool if you're doing video or for special occasion but the last thing i know i ever want to do and i'm sure you don't want to do is clip on extensions every day but if it makes you feel better for something here and there hey edit in your toolkit a while but you know I don't know, like sometimes people need to listen when you say just a dusting on the end, a dusting. A dusting in hairdresser terms means like, just clean up the split and shape it. So also when you say things like longer in the front, let's keep the angle longer in the front. And then he goes, oh, I rounded the corners. And you're like, he'll round the corners. That's something else you don't wanna do. When someone starts rounding corners on your hair, it's really time to head for the hills because it's a very dated look. You wanna keep things longer and more ang angular going that way. And also, um, I just got another beep. And also more, um, having more movement in it. If, even if it's straight, you kind of want to have like a longer layer or something in it that it looks better. As we get older, having really slick straight hair is not the most flattering. It accentuates wrinkles and circles and all that good stuff. So a little bit of movement, a little bit of layers looks better. And um, I hope this helps as I go to the movies. I'm uh, show you where I am probably a better place to look. Oh, look, my hair is blowing. You don't even see it. Anyway, that's it. So if you have any other questions or help that you want on this, you know, put it in the questions below. I'll get back to you. And if you need more help with your style, don't forget to go to stylewordbook.com forward slash immediate. I have something really good there for you. See you later.